some bright morning when this life is all Country Cousins Television. Hey, we want everybody to sit back, relax, kick off your shoes, stick around for a great program coming to you live from Fresno, California. Now, you may say, what is Country Cousins Television? Well, my goodness, it's a lot of great friends coming together. It's a lot of great musicians and artists coming together. A lot of comedians coming together to tell you and give you a great time to sit back and enjoy something we don't do nowadays. Everybody nowadays working, you know, it's just a working thing. Just keep working, keep working, and never have time to enjoy it, but a great show. So sit back, relax, kick off your shoes, get it together. Let me tell you, I got some great guests coming on, and they're going to come on and do a super job. I got Weezy P coming on, one of the great comedians worldwide, world known. Uh, we got uh, Mackenzie Rose coming on, one of the great country uh, singers coming on to do a great, beautiful job. And we want Nashville to sit up and take notice, you know what I'm saying? All right. So anyway, uh, with everything that's going on, it's really great, really good. And a little bit about, uh, we want to acknowledge, this month is Veterans Month. And we want to acknowledge all of our veterans. We salute you for everything that you have done for us. We thank you for all the time that you served and you protected this country, great nation of ours. And we just want to honor you. So we welcome you to a great show. Can't say it no better than that. And we also welcome all of our other fans and family around the world, around the nation. It's good to uh, be here doing this this evening and having a great time at it as always. All right, so we are going to, uh, before I get started anyway, tell a great joke. Listen. I want to tell you how good joke. Now, y'all got to understand this and, and, and when you do. If you got grandchildren, and grandchildren gets into a lot of things. Let me tell you about a, my grandchildren. Wow. Well, look, my grandchild was going shopping one day with a mother. And as they went shopping at Walmart, they got into the store. She's so intelligent because, you know, they never say, they always say you'll never know what a child will say. Check this out. Yeah. She goes in there and goes shopping and gets what she wants to get. And she calls me up. And she says, Paul, Paul, I want you to go pay for my stuff. And I said, what now? She said, yeah. I know you're in California and I'm in Columbus, Ohio. So all you got to do is go to your local store down there, pay for my stuff, I can get my stuff, and walk out. <laughs> what a great way to start the day. I'm telling you, you never know what grandchildren come up with. You never know what kids say at any time. So it's really good. And uh, also, uh, we'd like to thank everybody that, that is tuning in. My hometown is Warren County, Tennessee, one of the great country music uh, communities in the United States and a lot of great musicians. I want to welcome uh, my gospel group from back there, just passing through gospel group, Ken Youngblood, Gary Argo, Daniel Campbell, and uh, all those. And uh, to everybody else there, I'd like to welcome them in too. So anyway, again, uh, it's good to talk to everybody. It's good to be here. I'm having a great time. You can tell I look like I'm lost. I am. That's what Country Cousins is all about. So it's not hard to be found to get lost in what we're doing. All right. We are going to break away, go to a commercial, and we'll be back with special guests to kick up some dust. Y'all stick around. Stay tuned. Don't leave your seat for nothing. Don't even go to the refrigerator. Bring the dogs in. Get the chickens. And get them all situated. Feed the hogs and cows. All that. If you ain't got it done, just stick around because it's going to be great. So here we go. We're going to break. We'll be back. Stick around. Thank you.
some bright morning when this life is old. And I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I did forget to say my name, huh? Country Cousins. Well, there we go. So we're back. Look, I got a great, great comedian for you. He's out in the cornfield somewhere, lost over there in the cornfield. So he's coming to you live from the cornfield. Hey, uh, is that the hayfield? The hayfield, a hayfield, cornfield. Hayfield. So what? I got it right. Okay. So he's coming to you from the hayfield, and you'll really like him. Great, great guy, and and he's funny. Whew. It's Wheezy P. Let's work. We'll make you feel at home. All right. Take it away, my man. Hey, hey, how everybody doing, man? Uh, I just like to thank Country Cousins for having me here, everybody. I go by the name of Weezy the P, like they said, and uh, I represent High Risk Entertainment. And uh, man, I remember growing up as a kid, I always said when I grow up, I would like to be on the black version of Hee Haw. And here I am today. You know, I made it, mama. You know. <laughs> Country Cousin had me on here. He said, man, Weezy, I want you on the show. But don't cuss. And if anybody know me, y'all know that I love to cuss. It freshens my breath. But uh, I can't do it today. You know, I can't do it today. I remember Country Cousin. He's a real religious person. A lot of people I know, they go to church. Me, myself, I grew up in the church. And uh, the church I went to, it was always a candy store next to the church. Because the church and the candy store were hand in hand. Because the church always made their money off the kids that cheated the complexion. The co collection plate. You know what I'm saying? That's how the candy store got his money. When your mama give you a dollar to put in the collection plate, you already had your quarter stashed away in your pocket. You ain't gonna throw nothing but a quarter in there. You're gonna take that dollar to the candy store. So, uh, Jesus probably got a lot of problems with these candy stores next to these churches. Y'all gotta start investigating that going on. <laughs> I mean, I used to always wonder. Why do people give you money to uh, put in the collection plate? If you ain't got no money, you know what I'm saying? You just don't got no money. But it used to scare me sometimes when I would look around in the collection plate, get to coming around, and when you didn't have no money, somebody would give you some money. And I always was thinking, like, Lord, what will happen if I, you know, one day the plate come around, I don't got my money, you know? So it was just always something funny going up there, you know? I remember one time, the, collect, the collection plate went around, and the pastor had like $500 in dimes and nickels. <laughs> I know I see this. Anybody out there ever grew up in the ghetto? I grew up in the ghetto, and uh, in the ghetto, you know, it's certain things that you do that... Uh, other people don't do like in in the ghetto the church bus would come through and that was like the babysitter you know that's how mama get a lot of her free time you know she send you off to the church put you on that church bus on sunday and then that's when mr greg get to slide on through where y'all at church <laughs> oh the church bus i had one of the mamas that'll whoop you with anything i remember i was in the kitchen one time my mom was cutting some onions and i kept begging her and asking her could i have some ice cream and all that she just turned around one time to beat me down with the back end of the night <laughs> you ever had one of the mamas that hit you with anything <laughs> i had one of them granddaddies that used to always think something was good to do as long as a white person was doing it i said granddaddy i think i'm a father <laughs> I said, Granddaddy, I think I'm going to file for bankruptcy. He said, oh, might as well. The white people do it all the time. <laughs> you know, so that's my little thing, y'all. I'm losing the pink. Y'all can catch me down here in Fresno or going live with Country Cousins. Down here at Central Valley Talk. I want to thank y'all. And, uh, hey. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the great country music singers. I'm telling you, just super. I, I'm so glad I met this young lady. You know, Dolly Parton, Loretta Lynn. Let, let me go with Barbara Vandra, and I know Barbara now. But, you know, all of the country music ladies in country music, this young lady right here can do it with the best of them. 
And yeah, I'm talking about, you know, when she comes to the Grand Ole Opry in Nashville, that's all I got to say. Now, y'all just hold on for the rest of the story. Okay, so I ain't even going to say no more. I'm going to turn it loose to her and let her do her thing. Mrs. Mackenzie Rose, ladies and gentlemen. Make her feel at home. Oh, yeah. This song is for people overseas. Two days past 18, he was waiting for the bus in his army green. Sat down in a boot cafe there, gave his hand to a girl with a bow in her hair. Now she's a little shy, so she gave him a smile and he said, Would you mind sitting down for a while and talking to me? I'm feeling Said I'm off in an hour and I know where we can go So they went down and they sat on the pier He said I bet you got a boyfriend but I don't care I got no one to send a letter to Would you mind if I sent a one back here
ladies and gentlemen, we're back. And I want to say one of the greatest singers, y'all heard it live now. This ain't Nashville, this is Fresno, California, but listen, look, one of the greatest person around. But what I need to tell you about one of my sponsors, one of my great sponsors, is uh, the great, wonderful, wonderful lady that does a lot of things for the children in the community. Grandmother's Love, Miss Geraldine Bishop. That has got grandmother's love, and she works in the community, trying to help keep children from getting into gangs, trying to help the children to go through and 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 uh, get a good education and things like that. So, we thank her so very much for what she does in the community and the good works. All right, now back to this beautiful young lady. I keep saying from Nashville because I know she's going so. Yes, young lady. So tell me a little bit about you. Where are you from, and how do you got into this business? And well, I'm I live here in Fresno, California, of course. And it's didn't start out the easiest. I it was a little rocky in mm -hmm. the beginning, and it kind of just got better and better. But it's there's always going to be rocky moments right, in this right. in this business. It's really hard. There's right. people you can trust. Some people you can't trust. Right. And there's some people who just want to just attach themselves right. to you for the ride. Right. And so, me, I had, I probably had a few people try to attach themselves and just right. go for the ride, but I kind of pushed them away. I got to focus on me, what I want to do. Right. Right. What I want to be and my. What I want to be is I want to be a person getting Grammys, yeah. nominated for yeah. Grammys, getting some Grammys. I can get a Grammy, Academy, Entertainer of the Year Award yeah. over the Country Music side of the house. You could be sitting up there with Alan Jackson and <laughs> Barbara Mandrell over there with all of the groups, you know. And it, it, it's just really great. Uh, I spent a long time in the business and, and love doing country music. It, it was just really great, awesome. So what inspired you to get into this? Did all that inspire you to kind of start out? Or did was it one person? Was it, you know, a um, whole thing? If I had to think what inspires me the most, it's just to make people smile and just, yes. like, see the reactions. Like, right, Because right. you get different reactions with different songs you sing. Right. And it's always really nice to see how people are going to react to oh, it. Oh, yes, yes, really. So, like, if you do a happy song, people are going to be so happy. And, like, if you do a sad song, they'll be sad. Yes. But I just want to make people feel some kind of emotion because like what ins also another thing that inspired me was that music nowadays I mean what is it well we say it's, it has no substance to it but they're, they're, that, just nothing. some songs yeah, this, you know, but, I mean just like everything you hear from like kids these days is rap and, and like it puts it puts like certain like it puts females down and it's just like right. I don't want people to remember I don't want my generation to remember this so right. so the good thing about it is that in doing all of this then uh, you, you'll be able to inspire a whole lot of other people yeah that, I, yeah it's gonna be great gonna it's really gonna be great okay we're gonna take a commercial break and uh, we're coming back with some more entertainment some more jokes uh, stick around everybody kick your shoes off have some potato salad baked beans you know, steak, whatever it is that you got going on. Don't be biting the dog and all of that. Just, wow. Just stick around. We'll be back in a moment. And we're back. Uh, I just want to say, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's all listening. My name is Richard Graham. Yeah, gospel music, country gospel, basically. And a little bit about myself and people that don't know. I've been working uh, with the community. I work with a lot of different organizations in the community, uh, nonprofit organizations. Uh, 20 years as a Marine and a veteran, and uh, uh, kind of run out of things to sit now. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we've got a lot of projects going on this year, and uh, well, the end of the year, this coming year. And uh, we want everybody to take a gander and watch the screen. And when, while you're watching the screen, we'll, let me talk about the concert that we have coming up, the Veterans concert the veterans concert here in fresno california in april of 2016 is a great program we want everybody to, to, to check out the screen where i'm there and i'm doing something anyway but anyway go to my gofundme.com to help out to become a part and and uh help us put this project together for the veterans concert it's, it's going to be a great thing so many great artists are coming to be in it we want every 
everybody to uh, come out and enjoy a great program. Just like Country Cousins, when you come here, you're going to have a great time before you leave. Because at least we're going to try to feed you, you know, feed you, have a great time, and just do it all together. All right. I'm going to go ahead and I'm set up to do a song. So as I get ready, we're going to do this acapella style because that's what I do. Love it. Are we ready? Here we go. Let me get myself together here with your voice. All right. There's a happy land of promise over in the great beyond Where the say ones are soon that glory share Where all altered saints shall enter and live on forevermore Everybody will be happy over there Well now everybody, Lord, will be happy Now we'll be Happy Lord over there, we will shout now, we will sing, telling that story by and by. Everybody will be happy over there. Then we'll meet the one who saved us and who brought us with his blood to that place so blessed, peace and wonderful. We will praise his name forever as we look up on his face. Everybody will be happy over there. Well, now everybody now will be happy. Now we'll be happy, Lord, over there. We will shout now, we will sing, telling that story by and by. Everybody will be happy over there. Well, now everybody. But I will be happy, now we'll be happy, Lord, oh, for there we will shout, now we will sing, telling that story by and by, everybody will be happy over there. Yeah. Hey. All right. Thank you so much. We're going to take a break and we'll be back. Hey, it's Weezy the P, y'all. I'm back on the show here with Central Valley Talk Live with Country Cousins. Glad he got me here today. Hey, y'all remember to check my man Country Cousin out every Saturday at 6 o'clock, man. He's going to be going down live on here. Look forward to everything he got coming. I know he's going to have me back on here, you know. And, uh, man, I'm happy to be here. I'm Weezy the P. I come from Chicago. South side and um, you know what I'm saying and I've been down here in the valley in and out for a while. I love the valley, man. This is the dustiest, dirtiest place I ever been. You know. Uh, <laughs> I got I got breathing problems now, you know, so I'm 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 happy to be here, you know what I'm saying? It's a real good place. It is so hot, it gets so hot here sometime though, boy, that the roaches have to come inside. <laughs> You ever seen, like, all of a sudden the roaches just ended up? You're like, why? Because it gets so hot sometimes, the roaches got to... The roaches come inside when it rain down here, and the roaches come inside when it get hot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm down here, I'm being from Chicago, and I know one thing that uh, Chicago and the, us down here and the people down here in Fresno, I've been down here, one thing that we do all got in common is roaches, you know. But they got big old roaches down here. I see roaches crawling outside, just walking like roaches crawling like beetles. You would think they beetles, but they roaches. And uh, you ever had that situation where you came over somebody's house and uh, spotted a roach and they tried to act like you was the one brought the roach there? <laughs> they start saying stuff like they never seen no roaches in their house until you came. You like, now nah, listen. I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't bring no roach to nobody else's house. I don't let my roaches visit. You know. You ever came in the house and turned on the light and just spotted one honey smack on the floor? And you couldn't you couldn't figure out like how in the heck did one honey smack get on the floor? That's because that wasn't a honey smack. That was a roach. <laughs> That's what roaches dress up as for Halloween. Y'all didn't know that? <laughs> I know growing up in the ghetto, we used to always have a fear. And one of the fears that we always had was eating honey smacks in the dark. 
you know, we couldn't do it. We used to dare each other. Like, I dare you turn off the lights and eat them honey snacks. You're like, I can't. I, can't. I, got to, I got to be able to see. You got to be able to see each and every honey smack to make sure it's not a roach. Your mind is never fully clear, you know, <laughs> when you're eating them honey smacks. <laughs> Especially when the honey smacks kind of get, when you eat up all the honey smacks, it leave like this little, it look like roach wings. Don't it always look like roach wings in your milk? They're off the honey smack, like what are those? So, you know, let me try to think what else we got, man, you know, uh, growing up things that used to go on, you know. I know down here, a lot of people don't want to use that gas, so, you know, it's been cold lately down here, so we've been using that stove, <laughs> turn leaving the stove on, you know, I don't know, mess with that heat yet. Try to keep that heat down, don't mess with that heat, turn the stove on. I don't know. What else going on in the town, man? What else going on down here in um, Fresno? We had the fair. Um, oh, I could tell you this here. Before I get up out of here, it's a little inspiration that I got, and I'm definitely going to take back to Chicago. Uh, down here in Fresno, one thing you won't have a problem doing is getting a taco. I've seen uh, taco stands on every corner, taco restaurants. I didn't think you could eat these many tacos. But then I said, you know what? That's kind of like, who don't like tacos? So I said, <laughs> me, I'm from, a, you know, south side of Chicago. That's mainly black, you know, a black community. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to open up chicken stands on every corner. And when people come to visit Chicago, the south side, you're going to just see the chicken stands and people frying chicken on each and every corner. You know, get you some chicken. So that's Weezy the Peak, Country Clubs, and I'm glad to be here. Like I said, I always wanted to grow up. I could not wait to ever be on a country show. And now I made it. I've been on my first country cousin. Hey. Hi, I'm back, and I want to thank Country Cousins for letting me be on the show. I've never been on a country so, show, so it's great for my first time on a country show. Thanks, guys. All right.
And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. And I want to thank all of my wonderful guests. I hope everybody's enjoyed uh, the program tonight. We're coming to you live from Fresno, California, CentralValleyTalk.com. I'd like to thank Lu Louise P. back here, my main man, doing the comedy act for us tonight. And I got my partner over here, CEO Hot Rod of Clean Cut Records. Yeah, anybody want a record deal, come see Hot Rod. He's the man. You understand? Like BR549, he can sell cars too. <laughs> and we got the great and wonderful superstar over here, Mackenzie Rose, ladies and gentlemen, country music's finest. Yes, indeed. So we'd like to thank everybody. And of course, I'd like to thank my wife who let me out of the cage just to come do your show tonight. Woo, Lord, have mercy. Man. Anyway. And also, our special guest, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Grandmother's Love, for being a part of it and coming in and sponsoring the show tonight. It's no, I, I can't even have words to put it into effect to say how wonderful lady she is and what she does for the community. Great, great activist for the community. And also, my great friend, uh, Michael Mike Briggs, the man with the game plan. Now, he ain't in the picture with us because, unfortunately, he, he had to disappear like he do on Star Trek with one that beat me up things, so, you know. <laughs> anyway, we'd like to thank him for having us on and, and being at his network. And we'd like to thank our American veterans, all of our veterans that served in the wars and that served uh, abroad and here at home for protecting our country. And the president that does a great job, Mr. President Obama, you're doing a great job, sir. So, anyway, uh, we'll be back. Again, in about, uh, I think it's, uh, did I say, uh, November 21st? Uh, next show, November. Yeah, November 21st. I think everybody's about time to get it together. And anything you might want to say, thank you. Goodbye. Peace. See y'all later. Take it easy. Everybody have a great evening. God bless you. Some bright morning when this life is over.